I'm going to show you how to put the front wheel kit together. When you receive your kit, it'll look like this. You'll have instructions, leg rings, the wheels, the chin bar, the side extenders. You'll either have a 20 inch or a 30 inch, depending on the cart size that you're using it with the rear wheel. These are the two legs. And these are the optional wheels in case you want to purchase a five inch wheel instead of the four inch wheel that comes with the kit. We have the five inch wheels and we have the five inch with locks. This is an optional item. These are the side extenders. This is going to go on the side of the cart and the, the silver pegs will be on the outside as well as the leg. So we have a right leg and a left leg and both of them should be labeled. They're also engraved inside and there's a little label. This has a L, L, R, R. So we'll put the right side together first. We do want the writing to be right side up. So that's a good indication of which side to use. Take these little gold screws out and you're going to line up the holes with the holes on the extender. This is called the leg. So you'll put the screws through the extender and then line them up with the holes. It comes with a big Allen key. You'll take the Allen key inside and screw it in until it's nice and secure. Okay, so this is the right side. Then you want to look at the wheels and the wheels have a right and left. It's very important that you put the same side um, right on the right side of the extender leg because if they get mixed up then the cart isn't going to work properly. I'm going to attach the strut to the wheel. Um, I'm going to use the 14 inch strut. It comes with two sets. One is 14, one 16. You're going to, it just depends on the height of your dog that we've already um, considered. So you take the strut out and it has a little push button on one side. You're going to just put it on the little block, the little blue block, so that the push button's on the outside of this ledge right here. And in your hardware package, you'll have some screws. So you'll take the screw in the washer and insert it. Use a Phillips screwdriver. Get it nice and secure. So it looks like this on the four inch caster. And then we're going to insert the strut into the side leg. And it has push buttons, you'll notice. This is according to the height of your dog. The front wheel is going to be lined up with the front leg of your dog. So this is the right side. And you'll do the same thing with the left side. So now you have your right and your left. And now I'm going to show you how to install this in the rear wheel cart that you already have. This is the rear wheel cart and it, already, it comes with two extenders, but you will not need these extenders with the front wheels because we have these instead. So we're simply going to pop these out. And this one is the right side. So we're going to put it on the right side of the cart. This is what determines the length of your dog. And these wheels, the front wheels are going to be like lined up with the front leg. Use the Allen key sometimes to pop it in. Okay, it's in the same placement. So 
here's the um, front wheel cart now. You usually have your leg rings already for the rear, so the way you're going to install this is you're just going to hook them on these side pegs. And again, you want to make sure that these uh, leg rings look like two half, well, two C's or half circles. These Velcro straps are usually used to crisscross over the dog's back to secure them in, especially if it's an amputee. Otherwise, you could um, Velcro them together to make side handles which will make it easier to get your dog in and out of the cart. And the last thing we have is the chin bar. The chin bar is um, to hold the, the front wheel, the quad cart together, which now this front wheel attachment has turned into a quad cart. It comes like this, but you'll probably need to adjust it to your dog's width. So what you're going to do is take these screws out and you want to adjust the width of the, the chin bar to the width of your rear wheelchair. So what you'll need at this point is your rear wheelchair. So you're going to get the same width. and you're going to take the screw and screw it in the front. There's no threads on the inside of this chin bar, but as you can see, the threads will catch on the outside. And then you'll just tighten it up with your Phillips screwdriver. You can put the chin bar in this way or if your dog's head is in the way, you might want to drop it down and put this little L extension piece in. You want to look at the L piece and you'll notice there's two holes. One has threading and one doesn't have threading. So you want to take the side that doesn't have threads on it and put it over the chin bar and screw it in so that the screw adheres to the threads inside of the chin bar. So it looks like this. Then when we insert it, you'll have threads on this side that will connect to this side with this thumb screw. And the last thing you're going to want to do is put the chin bar cover over the chin bar and this is extra protect protection for your dog's chin. So he can either rest on it or just have it so it doesn't knock into things. It just fits in like this and then use the thumb screws and into the hole to attach it and that way it stays put. This is the last thing you want to do after your dog is in the cart. Put the chin bar in. The front wheel attachment hooks into the rear wheel cart to make it into a quad cart and this is ideal if your dog is losing strength in the front legs um, for a little bit of weakness or degenerative myelopathy has moved into the front legs. The dog is going to be supported with the leg rings in the front, but still be able to use his or her front legs.